Hello everyone. Welcome back to Unfog with Atahar Parveen. In this session, I am going to take a mathematics class for arithmetic progression. Now, this is there for uh, Karnataka TET paper 2 and uh, even for HSTR and CRIES also. Okay. Here I have uh, kept the syllabus also for Karnataka TET paper 2, first chapter, arithmetic progression only is there. And for HSTR also, arithmetic progression is there. Okay. Both Karnataka TET and HSTR aspirants should and must watch this lecture for preparing for mathematics arithmetic progression. Okay. Now, one thing I can assure you all that if you attend this lecture and learn what all I am discussing in this lecture, then not even one sum from arithmetic progression will be wrong in your exam. I mean to say that you all will answer arithmetic progression 100% surety I am giving you. You will answer arithmetic progression question correctly in your Karnataka TET and HSTR exam. Okay. So much assurance I am giving you because uh, you know that I do a lot of research before taking the class. I search for many important questions and also I give some tricks and tips in mathematics class. Okay. So, please stay tuned and uh, take pen and a paper if you don't have it right now or if you are maintaining a book then please take that uh, mathematics book and then sit calmly and attend this lecture. Okay. So, let us start. Firstly, we should know what is a sequence and what is a series. Sequence means uh, some list of numbers will be there. It Not only numbers, it could be alphabets also. So, that's why we can say that some list of uh, elements will be there. But that list will be logically related to each other. That type of list is known as sequence. Logically related means, for example, this list 1 2 4 7 11 16 this is a sequence how is it logically related see after one after one number i have two after two numbers i have four after three numbers i have seven after four numbers i have 11 after five numbers i have 16 so what is the logical relation this is plus one this is plus two this is plus three this is plus four and this is plus 5. Means if I add 1 to first number, I will get second number. If I add 2 to second number, I will get third number. If I add 3 to third number, I will get fourth number. If I add 4 to fourth number, I will get fifth number. If I add 5 to fifth number, then I will get 16, the sixth number. Okay. So they are logically related. So this type of list of numbers or alphabets is known as sequence. Okay. I hope you understood what is sequence. Now, what is series? Series means it is the sum of this sequence. It is the sum of this sequence. It is known as series. Okay. Now, I will give you simple summary. See, for example, if A1, A2, A3, A4, dot, 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 dot. If this list is a sequence, then the corresponding series for this sequence will be a1 plus A2 plus A3 till An means you are adding these numbers A1, A2, A3, A4. So, this is actually sequence. If you add this, you will get series. Okay. So, this was about series and sequence. Now, third is progression. In progression, there are three types. Three types of progression are there. One is arithmetic progression. Second is geometric progression. Third is HP, harmonic progression. Okay. So, these are the alphabets we use to denote them. Arithmetic progression AP, geometric progression GP, harmonic progression HP. Now, these three things are there for HSTR syllabus but for Karnataka TET only arithmetic progression is there in syllabus okay so this lecture is all about only arithmetic progression 
for hstr people geometric progression and harmonic progression i will do separately okay but for hstr people also arithmetic progression is the most important if they ask any question from these progressions then they will make sure that at least one question will be there from arithmetic progression okay now what is arithmetic progression basically progression means it is list of numbers okay that list could be having some logical relation but there are different logical relations for different progression arithmetic progression will have different logical relation geometric progression will have different logical relation between the numbers and harmonic progression also will have different logical relation between the numbers okay but that relation will be of same type see for example if you are talking about arithmetic progression arithmetic progression it will be list of numbers where you obtain each term by adding one fixed number to the preceding number you will add that fixed term okay that fixed term is known as common difference okay so if you add one fixed term to the previous number then you get this sequence known as arithmetic progression and that fixed number is known as common difference okay and you will start that arithmetic progression by some number right there will be some term right there will be first term what is the first term is known as a we denote that first term of the progression by the letter a and this common difference we denote it by small letter d okay now if i write a arithmetic progression then how i write first term will be a i told you that it is first term right then next term i told you that arithmetic progression is you will add that fixed term to the previous term right that fixed term is d and the previous term is a so next term should be d added to the previous term a plus d now we got two terms right if we want the third term again what we have to do again we have to add the fixed term to the second term what is the fixed term it is d right you add this to second term that is a plus d a plus d plus d a plus d plus d so third term will become a plus 2d and so on like that only again you add d to the third term to get fourth term you will get a plus 3d so this will be your arithmetic progression okay here there is a mistake it should be a a plus 3d so this was about the progression now if i want to find the nth term of this arithmetic progression see first term we denoted by a right if we want the nth term we denote it by a suffix n okay this will be your nth term now we have a formula to find the nth term of the arithmetic progression that formula is an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d here what does these alphabet mean an means nth term a means first term n means the number the number itself okay whatever n you are substituting here no that nth number here it will be there then one is we know what is n it is just a number and d is the common difference that is the fixed term which we add with the previous number to get the arithmetic progression okay this is one important formula now next if you are told to find the nth term from the end means you are having one series say for example you have this series 1 2 3 4 okay now your end term is 10 you think and you are told to find the nth term from this end again nth term you have to find at that time you can use this formula nth term 
an this will be equal to l minus n minus 1 into d this l will be your last term or end term here it will be 10 okay 10 will be l so we got two formulae now what are the two formulae we got we have got those two formulae to find the nth term first case is if you are given the first term and you know the common difference and you know which is the nth term you have to find then you can use this formula if you don't have common difference and if you don't have first term given in that question and again still you are told to find the nth term but they have given you the end term the last term in that situation you can find a n is equal to l minus n minus 1 into d you can use this formula to find a n okay remember these two formula now okay at the last we can make the list also don't worry next see for example if you want to find a arithmetic progression with the three terms you know common difference will be d what you will write you can write your own arithmetic progression by yourself if it is not given in the question how you will write first you write a then the next term will be a plus d right okay what will be the previous term for a it should be a minus d why see you add a d with a minus d you get a right so you got the second term by adding d here then you got the third term by adding d here so a plus d became a plus d here a minus d plus d became a here that's why if you want to write the three terms in ap they could be any three terms it could be first three terms it could be last three terms any three terms they could be they will have this relation every time so these are the three terms in arithmetic progression a minus d comma a comma a plus d why i wrote this i hope that you got it why i wrote this see here if i add d i will get a again if i add d i will get a plus d this is only nothing but arithmetic progression right that's what we told that we will add one fixed term that is common difference or d to the previous term that's what we are doing from then isn't it now this was the arithmetic progression a minus d a and a plus d for common difference d now how we will write the terms you have the common difference 2d you have added one d to this d and you got common difference 2d at that time what will be your arithmetic progression at that point for first term you have to add d in place of a you have to write a plus d again for second term now you will not add just d you have to add 2d because common difference is 2d right so your next term will become a plus 3d what will be your previous term for previous term you have to subtract minus 2d right if you subtract minus 2d you will get a minus d again for previous term what you have to do again you have to subtract minus 2d right then you will get a minus 3d so this will be your arithmetic progression i have written the four terms of the arithmetic progression with common difference 2d you can go the other way also you just you add here 2d you will get a minus d again you add 2d you will get a plus d again you add 2d you will get a plus 3d okay so you have to keep in your mind the value of common difference then you can write any arithmetic progression by yourself okay so this was one thing now another important formula is if you are told to find the sum of the first n natural numbers sum of the first n natural numbers in this situation you have to use this formula n into n plus 1 by 2 okay that sum you can denote it by s and n natural numbers right so you can write it as small n here suffix sn will be equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 
they have not given you any arithmetic progression any series or any sequence nothing is given just they are telling you to find the sum of first n natural numbers you just use this formula n into n plus 1 by 2 you will get the answer okay in place of n it could be 10 it could be 20 any number could be there it could be 5 it could be 1000 anything whatever is there here in place of this n that you substitute here you will get the sum of that first natural numbers see for example sum of the first 10 natural numbers you write 10 here 10 into 10 plus 1 by 2 means 10 into 10 plus 1 is 11 10 into 11 is 110 by 2 so 110 by 2 will become 55 sum of the first 10 natural numbers will be 55 okay it is like that now again if you are told to find the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression and they have given you the first term they have given you the common difference just you have to find the sum of the n terms at that time you use this formula n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d this will be the formula you have to use like you used a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d to find the nth term you use this formula right if you have the same details in the question then you can use a sn equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d to find the sum of n terms okay we have another formula like that uh, we found this no a n is equal to l minus n minus 1 into d we use this formula if we don't have a right if we don't have a in the question we use this formula like that only for sn also we have one formula this sn will be equal to n by 2 into a plus l l will be the last term last term or end term okay so we have four formulae now okay those four formulae first is we we can find a n using these two formulae if we have the first term we can use this formula if you don't have the first term if you have the end term then you can use this formula same manner to find the sum of n terms you can use this formula or this formula how to use that formula you have to read the question and understand what terms have been given in the question if they have not given common difference in the question then you can use this formula okay now there is relation between the an and sn what is the relation that an will be equal to sn minus sn minus 1 means the nth term and sum of n terms they are related an is equal to sn minus sn minus 1 why just because of the arithmetic progression okay because that is how we are writing the arithmetic progression right sum of the numbers minus the sum of the previous numbers okay this will be your nth term again you can also relate common difference to a n common difference will be equal to a n minus a n minus 1 for the same reason because they both are arithmetic progressions that's why you can write the nth term is equal to sum of n terms minus sum of the previous n terms same way here also for common difference okay so these are the formulae which we have learned now what all we have learned now we have learned these two formulae previously what are the formulas we have learned to find a n okay one minute i will make list here that's better if i make a list it will be easy for you now you can find a n by using three formulas one is if you have the sum of n numbers if you have the sum of n numbers given in the question you can find this using this formula one then formula two is our usual formula if we have common difference and first term we can use this formula and third formula which we can use is if we have the end term l minus n minus one into d okay now if you want to find the sum of the numbers for first n natural numbers you can use this n is equal to sorry sn is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 then next formula if you have a and d you can use this formula n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d next formula you can use if you have this end term 
if you don't have the first term uh, sorry if you don't have the common difference in the question then you can use it a plus l okay these are the six formulae which we have written and seventh formula is also there if you don't have common difference in the question if you are being told to find the common difference and you know a n then you can find common difference using this formula okay so these are the seven formulae which you must remember because see without knowing this formula also you can solve any arithmetic progression sum if you just know these two formula number 2 and number 5 you can solve but it will be very very tough you will not have so much time it will become very lengthy at that time you will waste your time and you will not reach your final answer so in arithmetic progression one must learn all these seven formulae because these seven formulae they are all include the tips and tricks to solve the arithmetic progression sum okay friends okay now i will solve multiple choice questions based on these formulae i have gathered around 15 questions let us solve them you will get an idea about how to solve these numericals okay first question question number 1 three numbers in ap have sum 24 the middle term is you have to find the middle term they have given you three numbers whose sum is 24 so first of all what are the three numbers which we write in arithmetic progression just now i taught you right a minus d a and a plus d now they have told that their sum is 24 sum is 24 means you can write a minus d plus a plus a plus d is equal to 24 or you will get cancelled with the d you will have remaining 3a here this this one will be 24 or a will be 24 by 3 or 8 3s a 24 so 3 1s a 3 8s a so your correct answer will be 8 option b will be the right answer okay now next question question number 2 if nth term of an arithmetic progression is 2n plus 7 then seventh term of arithmetic progression is so we know that an is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d this an is only nth term right now that they have given that nth term of an ap is 2n plus 7 they have told that means in place of an you have to write 2n plus 7 now what is the value of this it is 2 into 7th term they have told n is also 7 plus 7 so 2 7s are 14 Plus seven will be twenty one. So without using this formula only, we got this answer because in place of this formula, in place of a plus n minus one into d, they have given two n plus seven in the question. So without using this formula only, we got the answer. Just we have written n is equal to seven because they are telling that it is seventh term, right? So two into seven plus seven will be fourteen plus seven or twenty one. so your correct answer will be option b now if you want to write the other terms see n is equals to 7 you have written if you want to write n is equal to 1 or n is equal to 2 or n is equal to 3 how you do for this particular question it will be 2n plus 7 right so it will be 2 into 1 plus 7 it will be 9 then for n is equal to 2 it will be 2 into 2 plus 7 it will be Four right, it will be eleven. Then for n is equal to three, two into three plus seven, it will be thirty. Okay, this is according to this question two n plus seven. Okay, I hope you understood. Okay, next question. If the sum that is third question, if the sum of n terms of an AP is five by two n square plus 3n plus 2. Now this is S n terms, S n. Then sum of its 10 terms is. We don't know what is S 10. We have to find S 10. Okay. Now S 10 is equal to 5 upon 2 into what is n now? It will be 10 n square because we are going according to 
this equation. They have given this equation as Sn, right? So, we are going according to this. Plus 3 into what is n again? 10 by 2. So, this will be equal to 5 by 2 into 100 plus here only I can cancel. 2 ones are 2 fives are. It will be 15. This will be equal to again here I can cancel. 50. It will be 5 fives are 25. 250 plus 15. So, my S10 will be equal to 265. Option D in third. Option D will be the right answer. Okay. Next question number 4. If nth term of the AP 4, 7, 10 is 82, then the value of n is. See here what they have told. Nth term they have given. A n will be equal to the arithmetic progression. Is there here? You write the arithmetic progression. 4, 7, 10. We don't know what is the end. But A n is 82. They have given A n as 82. But we know the formula for A n. As they have not given any relation here. We know it is a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 82. Now, with this series, I have this series 4, 7, 10. Okay, the arithmetic progression is there here. Now, a will be 4 and what will be common difference? To find the common difference, we do 7 minus 4. This will be equal to 10 or we do 10 minus 7. This will be equal to 3. Here, for 7 minus 4 also we got 3. For 10 minus 7 also we got 3. What we did? We subtracted 7 minus 4 or 10 minus 3. We should get same common difference for full progression. Remember, common difference. That's why that name common is there, right? That difference should be common. So, the common difference we are getting is 3 and A is 4 according to the question. We have to find N. We have to find the Nth term. Now, we can easily find it, right? Just substitute. In place of A, write 4. In place of N, we write N because you have to find N. In place of D, you write 3 and this will be 82. Or N minus 1 into 3 will be equal to 82 minus 4. Or N minus 1 will be equal to, here it should be 78 by 3. Or 3 ones are, 3 twos are, 3 six are, 26. Or N will be equal to 26 plus 1. This will be 27. 27 should be the right answer for B. Okay, this is how we find the nth term. Next question number 5. If A, B and C are in AP, then what is the relation they are telling? They have given 4 options. For that uh, question number 5, first we have to find common difference. That common difference will be equal to C. There is one progression. What is the progression? A, B and C. Okay, this is the progression. A will be the first term. What will be the common difference? Common difference should be B minus A or C minus A. Both will be same because it is common difference, right? So, that common difference should be B minus A or C minus B. Sorry, it is B. C minus B, right? B minus A, C minus B. This will be your common difference. But this B minus A should be equal to C minus B, right? Because it is common difference. Now we can equate to find things, right? B minus A minus C plus B will be equal to 2B minus A minus C. Or 2B again if I put it that side, A plus C. 2B is equal to A plus C. Or if I take B only left hand side. 2 will go down, it will be a plus c by 2, a plus c by 2, uh -huh. option b will be the right answer in number 5, okay. Now next question, question number 6, 12th term of ap is x, uh, this ap they have given, what is the ap they have given, they have told it is x minus 7 comma, x minus 2 comma, x plus 3, this is the arithmetic progression. You have to find the 12th term. 12th term means 8, 12. You have to find. With this, you can find the common difference, right? Common difference will be equal to x minus 2 minus x minus 7. If I do like this, I can do like this also. It is my wish. I am taking first two terms. 
So this will be equal to x minus 2 minus x plus 7. Uh, x, x will get cancelled and I will get d will be equal to 5. Now I got d, right? I can use this formula a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So a 12 will be equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. What is a? It will be x minus 7, correct? They are given it in the question. So this will be x minus 7 plus what is n? n will be 12. We have to find the 12th term, right? So it will be 12 minus 1 into 5. D we have just now found. So this will be equal to x minus 7 plus 12 minus 1 will be 11. 11 5 is a 55. Or this will be equal to x minus 7 plus 55 or x plus 48. So a 12 will be x plus 48. Option C will be the right answer. Okay. So in question number 7, we have to find the common difference. It is very easy, right? In the arithmetic progression they have given is 8 1 by 8, 8 2 by 8 and 8 3 by 8. First what you do, you convert them into improper fraction. It will be 8 8 the 64, 64 plus 1 will be 65, right? So it will be 65 by 8. And uh, here it will be 66 by 8. And here it will be 67 by 8. It is simple. Now common difference what you do. You subtract it like this right. You it will be 66 by 8 minus 65 by 8. Or it will be um, 1 by 8. Or if I do 67 by 8 minus 66 by 8. It will be 1 by 8. So my answer should be 1 by 8. So option A should be the right answer. Okay, moving on. Question number 8. The nth term of AP, they have given one arithmetic progression minus 5 minus 2 comma 1. You have to find the nth term. What you do, we know that a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. a according to the arithmetic progression, a here it is minus 5 plus n minus 1 into d. What will be d? You have to do minus 2 minus of minus 5. This will be minus 2 plus 5 or 3. Or if you have doubt, you do the third thing. Either you subtract like this or you subtract like this. Both are one only. 1 minus of minus 2. It will be 3. So here common difference is 3. So here in place of d, I write 3. This will be my nth term. A n will be equal to minus 5 plus 3 n minus 3. Or a n is equal to minus 8 plus 3 n. So minus 8 plus 3 n. Or I can also write as 3 n minus 8, right? So 3 n minus 8. Option D in the 8th question. Option D will be the right answer. Okay. Ninth question. If the nth term of an AP is 5 minus 3 n, then common difference of the AP is. First what they have done, they have given you nth term a n which is equal to 5 minus 3 n. Now they are telling you to find the common difference. To find common difference, I have given you one formula which uses only a n and a n minus 1. Remember that formula you can use it here a n minus a n minus 1. But we know what is an. 5 minus 3n we know. We don't know what is an minus 1, right? So let this be 1. Now you find an minus 1. What you do to find an minus 1? Wherever you have n, you write n minus 1. That's all. 5 minus 3 into n minus 1. This will be 5 minus 3 an plus 3. Or it will be 8 minus 3n. This will be your an minus 1. Now you subtract 1 minus 2. You have to do that to find D. So 5 minus 3n minus 8 minus 3n. See you have to write minus with the bracket. If you forget to write the bracket then your answer is wrong. 5 minus 3n. I will erase this. It will be confusing or else. Minus 8 minus into plus will be. Sorry minus into minus will be plus 3n. This will be cancelled and here you have minus 3. 
So minus 3 will be the right answer. The common difference is minus 3. Option B will be the right answer. Okay. See, only because you know the formula, you could do this question number 9, right? If you didn't know the formula, how you could do it? So that's why I gave you those 7 formulas for arithmetic progression. You must know them. Okay. Next question number 10. If 5, 2k minus 3 are in arithmetic progression, then value of k is. This is very simple. What is the arithmetic progression they have given in number 10? It is 5, 2k minus 3, 9. Now what you do? It is simple. You can use uh, common difference. What is common difference? You subtract it like this, right? Any two terms you take, your wish. I will subtract second term minus first term it will be 2k minus 8 this is one thing this is d let me have this as one now i'll go for these two digits it will be equal to 9 minus 2k minus 3 Th third term minus second term it will be 9 minus 2k plus 3 or d will be equal to um, 10 12 12 minus 2k this will be my second term. Now common difference is same right because it is common. For one arithmetic progression both the d's will be same. So I can equate 1 and 2. 1 should be equal to 2. That's why 2k minus 8 will be equal to 12 minus 2k. Or I put that 2k this side it will become plus 2k. I put minus 8 that side it will become plus 8. It will be 4k plus 20 or k is equal to 20 by 4 or it is 5. So k should be 5. In question number 10, k should be 5. Option B should be the right answer. Okay. Next question. Question number 11. Sum of first 10 natural numbers. Uh, this thing already we did in our example, right? Sum of first 10 natural numbers. We have one direct formula n into n plus 1 by 2. They are telling 10 natural numbers. So, put 10 in place of n. 10 plus 1 by 2. It will be 10 into 11 by 2 or it will be 110 by 2 or it will be 55. Option B will be the right answer. Okay. Okay, moving on. Question number 12. Ninth term from the end of the AP 7, 11, 15 till 147 is. See, this is the arithmetic progression given. And 147 is the end term. End term. Okay, remember that formula we used for AN with the end term. They are telling us to find the nth term. Means ninth term here, right? So, AN we have this formula. L minus N minus 1 into D or A9 you have to find, right? And what is L? L will be 147, the end term. 147 minus, in place of N you write 9, minus 1. Common difference you can find. It is 7, 11, 15. To find the common difference you do 11 minus 7. It will be 4. So, here you can write it as or A9 will be equal to 147 minus 8 into 4 or 147 minus 32 or A9 will be equal to 115. Option C, 115 will be the right answer in question number 12. Question number 13. If the sum of n terms of an AP is n square, then its nth term is. See the other formula we are required now. What is that? The relation between Sn and An. What was that relation? Remember, An will be equal to Sn minus Sn minus 1. Because they have given Sn is equal to n square, they are telling us to find An. See the question properly. If the sum of n terms of an AP is n square, then its nth term is. We don't know what it is. Sn, we know it is n square. Then what will be Sn minus 1? Now, just to find Sn minus 1 by substituting n minus 1 in place of n, you use this formula a minus b whole square. You get a square plus b square minus 2ab, right? So, here you get n square plus 1 square is 1 minus 2n. 
So this is S n and this is S n minus one. Now use our formula. A n is equal to S n minus S n minus one. What is S n? It is n square minus. Don't forget to write this bracket, or else your answer will go wrong. Okay? N square plus one minus two n. So you get n square minus n square minus one plus two n. So this n square will get cancelled, and your a n will be two n minus one. Two n minus one. Option A will be the right answer. Okay? Next question number fourteen. The sum of three numbers in AP is thirty. What are the three numbers? We know them, right? It should be a minus d, a, a plus d. Now, sum of these three numbers is thirty. It seems, and the greatest number is thirteen. Means it is a plus d, right? A plus d will be the greatest number. This will be thirteen. This let us keep in mind. Now let us use this again. Here, d d will get cancelled, and I will have three a. 3a will be equal to 30 or a will be equal to 10 now use this equation to find d 10 plus d is equal to 13 or d is equal to 13 minus 10 so d will be equal to 3 so option b should be the right answer Next question. Question number fifteen. The sum of sixth and seventh terms of an AP is thirty-nine, and common difference is three. Means they have given a six and a seven. They have given the sum for these two. It is thirty-nine, and they have given d. D is three. We have to find it. We don't know what is it. Now a six means we know the formula, right? What is a n? A n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. So what will be a six? A six will be a plus six minus one into d. Plus what will be a seven? A plus seven minus one into d. This is thirty nine. So here it will be a plus five d plus a plus six d will be equal to thirty nine or two a plus eleven d will be equal to thirty nine. This we have. But d is three, right? They have given. So I can substitute it here. Eleven into three. This is equal to thirty-nine. Or two a plus thirty-three is equal to thirty-nine. Or two a is equal to thirty-nine minus thirty-three. Or two a is equal to thirty-six. Or a is equal to. Uh, sorry, it is not thirty-six. It will be six, right? Thirty-nine minus thirty-three will be six. So a will be equal to six upon two. Or it is three. Two ones are two threes are. So option D will be the right answer. Okay. So these were the fifteen multiple choice questions which I have given you the variety using all the formulas which I have discussed here. Okay, friends. Thank you. Then all the best. Bye.